Hello, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Okay, this paint is beautiful portrait. Uh, the colors I'm gonna use are titanium white, cadmium yellow hue, cadmium orange hue, cadmium red hue, co uh, cover blue, and ivory black. Okay, hello Nikki. Hello Monique. Hello Barbara. Hello Christine. Hello Fanchon. Hello, okay. welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Dita. Okay, let's paint. I'm gonna use a little bit of medium. I always uh, use linseed oil and trumpet time, half and half. Touch of blue, red, and orange. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's draw. Let's see the top of the top of the head. Mm, the hairline. It's gonna be here. The bottom of the chin be here okay let me see the overall shape okay line for the eyes brow brows the center line of the face gonna prepare more paint Remember, uh, they just take the cannon from the brows to the nose, from the nose to the bottom of the chin. If you see the face, it has these proportions. Follow these proportions. Okay, that means that I'm gonna paint the eyes here, the brows. I'm gonna paint the nose, the nose here, and the mouth around here. I already have the position of the features, eyes, nose, and mouth. Yep, I think that's okay. Hello, Dita. Hello, uh, Jyoti. Hello, Bones. Hello, Terry. Hello, Manuel. Uh, hello, La Lawrence, and Omer, and hello, Leslie. Okay, let's prepare my basic colors. One is going to be for the lights, and the other for the shadow. I mean, you, if you see my videos, you've been watching my videos, you know that. Uh, that's what I usually I use for the beginning, just two two colors. Okay, this one is gonna be for the lights. Step back. Okay, I think that's okay. Orange, black, and white. Okay, just that. Now, a darker variation, orange, black and white. 
the same, it just has more, more black. More black and more orange, less white. Okay, don't use too much paint at the beginning. Yep. Well, you know, because I started with something like kind of a sketch. I'm gonna be already touching this and adding more and more paint. Just orange, white, and blue. Hello Laura, hello Than, Than Art. Okay. Okay, I have um, let's say three values right now. This is my midtone, light, and shadow. What I'm trying to keep is, uh, let's say this is the, where's my brush, okay, this is the mid-tone, okay, uh, when I add the mid-tone, I put just one color, when I add this light here, I put this here, I'm being careful, that no, don't paint with this color, with this value, all this, I mean, if I do, if I paint like this, I'm gonna make this flat. Okay. I have to keep this difference between this and this. And if I add more lights, if you squint down your eyes watching the picture, you're gonna realize that the lights are are basically let me do that, let me squint down my eyes, step back, basically here here and here okay and now of course we have light here and here but I'm saying that the more intense lights okay that means that I'm gonna have one value here another value in this portion and another value in this portion and what I'm doing just basically is creating like a value scale like here yeah, when the, if this is lighter, darker, darker, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have more values here. It's just like it's just a value scale to create volume. When we draw, that's what we do, like a value scale. And now I'm using just one color. I'm gonna add some reddish colors now. I'm gonna change maybe the temperature of the light. Maybe not, I gotta see if that's what I need. Okay, or maybe I cool down some color. I'm not pressuring too much. See how I'm doing this, it's just like sketching. Okay. 
Well, let's work on these shadows again. Mm. Stepping back, squinting down my eyes. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna add more light here. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange this color, just to add more color to the face. I have this, this, and this. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Oh, a little bit more here. Just to, I'm gonna work on the shadow. And in this way, when I squint down my eyes, uh, and I see this, I can see the lights, the highlights. Yeah, I can see the shadows and the highlights. And I squint down and watch, um, and look at the picture, and I see this, I see the same. And I'm trying to, of course, of course, of course, trying to copy the relationship between this light, this highlight, this highlight, and this highlight. Okay. Mm, let me see. Yeah, it looks that this is okay. Mm. Okay. Let's put more paint on the shadow. You can use uh, black or, or blue to grade down this orange. And my advice is always Try to keep this simple, yeah? because uh, I mean it's okay if you add a lot of colors here, but you know that it's basically what I have here is just brown, simple brown, nothing more, nothing less. squinting down my eyes and just need to check out uh, comparing okay hello Nikki hope you're feeling better now uh, Nikki is asking me when you paint do you always stand or sometimes just sit on a stool okay uh, no I just uh, I step back uh, I mean I'm not really stepping back like a moving that much let's say i just lean back okay like i don't know maybe that's gonna be like just 50 centimeters like maybe 20 inches just that and the painting is really small I, mean, I don't need to go far away to see the painting Just that when um, I'm painting a, a bigger painting, that's different. Yeah, you have to stand up, step back like I don't know how much, a couple of meters. Yeah. 
and sometimes I just uh, I see uh, the little screen that I have. I mean, uh, uh, for me in YouTube, I don't see a, like a big screen. It's, I don't know for what reason. It's just a small screen in my in my my monitor in one corner. I can see just like a small, like something like this size. Yeah, something like this size. And I see the portrait really small, and that helps because it's just like a stepping back. And the idea is, is of course, see the whole face, and because you know that I don't stay, I don't stay too much time working on one eye and then move to the other eye. It's always the relationship between everything, or the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And all the time uh, I'm checking this, I'm checking this, checking all of the all the measurements. I mean, this is a common advice to do this, okay? This is not something that is just about, let's say, my style of painting. It's just something that uh, I learned when I was a student, always working everything. Not stay too much time in one area. And at the same time, I mean, I did a little bit, a little bit of a sculpture for a year. And let's say let's say that I have a close relationship with the sculpture for so many years, maybe four or five years, maybe more. Not in an act active way. I mean, I, I was working for real, making a sculpture for a year, and then I stay in contact with sculptures, but I didn't work. And maybe uh, I'm trying to analyze uh, uh, my own process I gotta say this not just my own it's a common process but let's say that my own process and when I see something like that it's the same when when you work on a sculpture you are trying to move things and at the, at the beginning it's just a kind of a, an abstract form And it's amazing how you can uh, start making a face or a human figure from just mat, mat, yeah, mat, that's the one, mat. And uh, I used to work with, uh, what's the name? I don't, sorry, I don't know the name. I don't know the name in, in English. But this is clay, clay, yeah, clay. Okay, I mean the idea is is about that. Uh, I love to see something like this, and I, I see the face like emerging from this kind of mm, blurry thing. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of red to this color to paint the mouth. Now for the position of the, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, uh, the idea is practice a lot, uh, mostly drawing. Uh, drawing uh, once you draw a face on the same position like this, the front view, 100 times, for sure. I mean that's something that is going to stay in you like this kind of mechanical thing, and without thinking, you're going to position the the eyes, the nose, and the face kind of in the same spots all the time.
Okay, let's put a little bit more color on the face. You know, it's just a pink color. Thank you, Nikki. When you make videos in Spanish, I did a, a live stream a couple of days ago in my Spanish channel, and I plan to do another one today. So it was a profile view. It was a like two hours live stream in my Spanish channel. Hello, Carolina. Hello, Terry. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna add a little bit of color. Just red with white. And this is something that you can learn just do it mechanically, let's say. It's the same with this. this the color is gonna be in the same spots. Okay, cheek cheeks, chin a little bit, a little bit on the forehead, here in the middle, okay, the lower and the upper eyelid, that's it, and of course the, the ear, eh? now of course it's about uh, adjusting this color, uh, placing this like this just to make it really clear, This is just for making clear that, uh, let's say, if you grade down the color and you add some greenish colors, you gotta respect these areas, okay? Add more color everywhere you want, but you shouldn't touch this. I mean, if you paint a green, a greenish or grayish nose, definitely that's gonna affect the illusion of depth because you're gonna just knocking down the nose, making the nose reset okay, and then we count on color to create the, the illusion of volume the illusion of three-dimensionality okay. remember, you count, we count on color, we count on edges and contrast okay all the time all the time is the same again and again you can learn about that in just one day. The problem that's gonna be always apply this on a painting. That's why uh, one way is always working the whole painting. One when we start just working in one area, it's it's like uh, I'm gonna put all our effort there, contrast, uh, sharpness, everything, and. It's not about that, I mean, we have to, uh, let's say, create a balance in the whole face between some areas that are going to be sharper, some soft, lost edges, more and less contrast. But I'm speaking about subtle, subtleties, okay, it's not like, sometimes we can exaggerate that those things about the edges or temperature you can push that a lot okay. or just we can um, make a subtle difference it, for example this reddish areas is just kind of an exaggeration when you see that in the face eh? uh, at the end obviously I'm gonna knock down the, those colors I'm gonna add more color but you can see so clear in the in the in the picture, yeah. And the idea is that uh, you need to know these spots. You don't need to look at the picture to know that these areas are going to be reddish. Yes. And when you see the picture, you see that oh, that's a match. It's because it's because it's anatomy of the face. Remember, it's just about the anatomy of the face. Then. And obviously, you can. Uh, let's say uh, knock down this here and this here okay but here 
in the center of the face is always going to be more reddish. about color. Now about, about the drawing, it's about knowing, um, studying a method, any method you want. Stepping back. Okay. It looks okay. Looks okay for me. <laughs> Hello by you. Hello Maui. Hello Hyman. Hello Barbara. Pretty happy that you, you like you liked it, Barbara. Thank you so much, Barbara, and thank you so much, you all, I mean, Monique, Barbara, Nikki, and, I mean, Joyce. Hello, Joyce. <laughs> thank you, thank you, all my patrons. And at the same time, people that, they bought me some of the paintings that I make here in the live streams. Okay. Zoom in for you to see what I have now. Yeah. Yeah, I love. I have seen some paintings, amazing paintings that looks like just in this stage, like at the beginning, and so precise. I mean, yeah. Uh, one day I would love to try to that, but no, I mean I need to work more, more the, always because I know that uh, I'm starting to move things, and I need to see more always to judge. Maybe this eye is too much to the left, or maybe the eyes here should be bigger or smaller. I'm not able to judge that now. I'm always checking the whole face. Okay, when I start working on one eye and then the other, and then the nose and the mouth, then I'm gonna check out on that. But I'm gonna work always just a little bit, a little bit. Let's paint here a little bit, like here, and then here. Add more light, more lights.
The comments. Uh, okay. suppose males have less red on their face. I mean, the red on the face is because of the blood that we have. Well, basically, everybody that I mean, it's so easy when somebody got scared. Especially these areas got more reddish because uh, there's more blood. It's just that. Yeah? Now, obviously, we can exaggerate more of these reddish colors on a child, on a woman. Yeah? More than a, a man, because a man is going to look kind of funny if you, we paint this kind of reddish cheeks, red, reddish nose. Yeah, we have to control that a little bit on the, the man's face. Hello, Linda. Hello, Thomas. Okay, uh, where I was? Okay, I was mixing here. But it was too much. Add an orange here, a touch of blue to grey down this color. Let's see if this works. It's too bright. More red. Or I don't realize about the zoom. Okay. A little bit of black. That was too much, I think. Let's see. to make this a little bit darker blue and orange Stepping back, let me see. Okay. It looks too bright. Yeah. I mean that's okay. I mean I'm plan I'm gonna I'm planning to blend this and when we blend we usually kill the contrast. Okay, now let's blend.
a break. Now let's work a little bit on details. Now it means that I'm going to stay more on one eye, then I'm going to move to the other eye. Just, I'm just using right now. This is uh, another zero uh, brush. This is what we call liner brushes. Okay, let's draw. Let me step back. Let me squint down my eyes. Let me zoom in my the image to see more details. I'm checking out here that the wind of the nose is aligned with the tear duct and you know that the width of the nose usually is the same width of one eye usually not always Same, I mean, usually the corner of the mouth is aligned with the iris here. Okay, usually.
Thank you. Oh, Nikki saying, uh, oh, Johan is asking me. Oh, this is canvas. Yeah, I'm painting on canvas. We're glad you don't waste paint. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I try not to waste paint. Thank you, Laura. Hello, Terry. How long did it take you to get to this professional level of painting? Thank you for that. And I've been painting for years, I think. Yeah, what can I say? Years. I've been painting the same for years. Portraits, a lot of portraits. Yeah. Like a regular job. Eight hours every day for the last the last 20 years doing the same I want to retire <laughs> there's no retirement for painters I think I don't know I see myself painting like maybe the last day of my life yeah, I remember when uh, I used to I, I I had a friend, I mean, I hope he's still alive because he's really old and I have seen him for maybe 10 years. Uh, I'm speaking about um, a painter here in my country, but not in my city. And this guy, he painted his whole life. I mean, it was for me, it was an inspiration, always. I mean, he was too methodical, uh, always trying to get to some perfection. Uh, I don't know, it was, I mean, for me, it was kind of sometimes because I was young when I met him. I mean, I met him uh, since I was a child because, uh, because of my mom. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let's say that I started to see him like a painter when I was, I started to paint too. And he was really methodical about studying process and all of that. And he painted a really slow and careful. It was really such an inspiration for me. And uh, he painted, he remember it. Uh, his hands used to shake like this all the time and but as soon as soon uh, he was about to put a brush stroke it was like this <laughs> for me I mean I was at I was at uh, I was young I mean when we were young sometimes we were cruel I mean for me sometimes I, I laughed when I see him and then and then it's like it's, he stopped he laid down the brush stroke really precise I said, what happened? What happened? <laughs> For me, how is that possible? Then again, and it was like magic. I mean, what happened? <laughs> and he laughed. He laughed to study Rembrandt. I remember that. I think I, I, uh, I knew about Rembrandt because of him. It's been a long time, the last time I went to, let's say to my, uh, to the place where, where I born, I, yes, uh, because I didn't burn, I didn't burn here in uh, uh, Lima, in the capital, I mean, I'm from the south, here in Peru. My family on the south 
Some of my family, when I was a kid, they used to... Uh, what's the word? Farmer? Farmers, yeah? I remember one of my uncles, he has like a 50 or 100 cows. And just a couple of times when I went there, uh, my uncle told me, Okay, go feed the cows. Take this guy with you. I don't remember who, I mean. I took a mule and I ride, I rode, I rode the mule, the, I, I drove the mule to some greens, uh, uh, place <laughs> on the mountains, okay? I stayed there for like two hours, like, waiting for the cows to eat. And then I came back like an, it was like an hour. We took the cows like an hour to eat and then get them back to his house. And then I remember he told me, I remember this particular time because he told me, okay, you earned it, a glass of milk. And then he went to, I mean, get the milk from the cow. It was hot, it was kind of warm. And I, uh, I drank it. Yeah. Ten minutes later, my stomach was was hurting. It was like, what happened? I'm like, oh my! <laughs> Where is the bathroom? I mean, my stomach was just. <laughs> that's uh, that's why that stayed on my my memory. That that particular day. I mean, I gotta say this: the milk from the cow, warm milk, it was just delicious. And then another uncle, I, I, I saw to see another uncle. Uh, here, he just, uh, I remember this uncle, he was, I mean, I went to his house, he was a farmer too. And it's like he didn't have anything on his house, in his house. I think he, he just had a broken TV. It was, oh my God, I mean, why do you have anything? And he had like um, a big trailer, a big truck, like a couple. You know one of those big trailers is about, I don't know how much, $100,000. So, so big to move, to move uh, the cows, just to sell the cows then. I mean, he did have a lot of money. It was, I mean, that's the only thing I remember about him because I, I was hoping to stay at his home to watch TV, to play some games, anything. Yeah? And I went there, the house was just like, looks like empty. Nothing there. <laughs> and a broken TV. It was like, uh, it was something like, a, I don't know, I didn't even know if that TV work, worked. That was so funny. Okay, that's the place where I, I born. I born. Uh, I mean, I didn't born in that um, on a farm or something like that, but it was my family, a part of my family. Yeah. And I, uh, I born in the city, yeah? in the city. Uh, I mean, you know that it's like um, there is an area there. There is uh, there are farms. And there's an area where is the city. Yeah, I born in that area. And then when I was in my maybe five years old, my mom, she decided just to, we gotta go to Lima, to the capital. Yeah. I don't know why, you know? We gotta look for your dad. <laughs> I said, okay, I wanna meet my dad. <laughs> That's really funny, yeah. And then we came here. I remember, I remember, I started to remember because I stayed here for five years and I, I, I didn't see my dad. I mean, I said, where's my dad? I mean, we came here to see my dad. And my dad, he was in Europe. And I said, okay. And then I met, uh, 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 I met my dad when I was in my, when I, when I had, I think, 10 years old. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny.
okay, let's speak about painting, yeah, because who cares about that thing, those things? Sorry about that, I gotta speak about something. In this city in the south the south uh, my one of my uncles he was a painter and then my mom I mean, she was a painter I mean she loves to believe that she's a painter but she does she didn't she doesn't paint for a long time my dad is a painter and my dad is really good in portraits or or he, or, or he was he's, he's the same I miss I mean he don't paint anymore he doesn't paint anymore I don't know why my family is kind of lazy <laughs> there I have a lazy family Sorry guys, I, I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna continue speaking about, about me. You know I wanna speak about me. <laughs> I guess I started to remember a lot of things. Okay, I'm just um, blending, yeah, you see, adding more lights and blending. Uh, now the process is uh, is kind of repetitive because uh, that's going to be about adjusting, adding a highlight, like let's say here, a highlight here. Then when we blend, we kind of this uh, make this highlight disappear a little bit. We have to add it again. Okay, and usually on the on the highlights and the lights, that's going to be like we have to go over these areas like three, four, five, six. A lot of times it depends how much you blend. But remember, uh, when you over, over blend, like you state, a lot of trying to get this smooth surface, and then you can kill the shadows. Okay, don't stay too much. You see, I'm blending, but uh, right now, if you, uh, not, I mean, you see uh, some brush strokes there. There is not like a lot of detail, a lot of blending. Uh, paint. And I blend, I paint and I blend, uh, uh, little by little. I don't over blend because there is no reason uh, to start just blending too much when you're going to start adding more and more paint. Yes, and speaking about my family in the south, here they love to drink a lot. I remember my uncle, uh, the painter. He used to take me when I was a teenager. Okay, let's go to drink some beers. I mean, they didn't drink beers. This was some kind of alcohol. Yeah. And every time when I, I went to visit my family, like once a year. Yes. Uh, it was about like spending like the whole week drinking. It was, I mean, I remember I was, I was young anyway. I mean, my body was like, oh my God, every day, every day that I, I, I see a, a cousin, my uncle, any family was about, hey, welcome here, come here, let's drink. I said, I mean, why? <laughs> you know, I don't drink too much. I mean, I don't drink like at all, but, it's just like it's just like that they they love to do that and so many times I have been so drunk when I was there and they were always like like nothing like alcohol doesn't do anything to them then 
and there is a volcano in this city in the south everywhere you go you see the volcano the vol volcano 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 sorry uh, you see the volcano uh, everywhere it's a huge it's huge yeah. it's something like imagine that that this Im images from Japan where you see a city and you see a big volcano volcano it's something exactly the same huge and sometimes we, uh, when the sky was so clear the sky was the sky was so blue and uh, this volcano volcano was with snow snow on the top it looks so close because of the contrast eh, with the sky it looks like you can touch it with your hands it looks i mean in general it looks it looked always so close this volcano and i remember once i asked i mean how long is going to take from here to get there to and i mean you have they, somebody told me you have to go walking there is no way to to go there it was to go walking it takes like 5 hour hours 5 hours it was sounds like a lot but anyway And on the night, because of this uh, this place, this the sky is really clear in the morning. On the night, you see, you can you cannot count the stars. I mean, there is it's just like one million stars you see on on, on the sky at night. Here in Lima, you don't see anything, <laughs> anything. The morning or sky is gray. It's just black and white, gray. Maybe that's the reason that I love too much painting with gray. It's just gray, it's just amazing. And the night, you don't see, I mean, you're lucky you see one star on the sky. Just that. The humidity and the, it's too much here. And the south is different. I think it may be, I don't know, maybe in the next 10 years to move there. Man, I have to plan my retirement. I mean, no, uh, let's say a retirement from the city, from the big city here. Yeah. And, but not, not for painting, of course. I mean, I, like I said, I see myself painting. And I, I just, I just had such an inspiration uh, with this guy. That the guy that I told you, about, his hand was shaking because because he was too old. Uh, it was kind of magic for me. <laughs> See somebody painting so good with a, a hand that was shaking too shaking too much. Every time that I went to see to visit visit him, it was about always about speaking about art uh, art for hours, and, and he was always about it was about always listen listen to listen music classical music for hours and speaking about art art for hours, and it was more like in speaking about art. It was him. It was him speaking about art, and me listening. Yeah, because I, I did, at that time when I was young, I didn't have too much information to share with him. I mean, he was the one that was uh, do, do all the speaking, most of the speaking. I remember the first times different time maybe the first thing second time that I started to to visit him 
I just wanted to go out from there really far. I mean, can you imagine somebody in, in their 20s, maybe 24, 25, listening classical music for hours and speaking about art? It's not that I didn't love art. It's not that I didn't love mu classical music, but it just was, it was just too much. And I learned eh, to get used to that. And I learned to, to enjoy those long conversations with him. But I'm starting to love classical music. I mean, everybody loves classical music, but not, I mean, when, you just, when you're in your 20s and you listen for maybe more than four, four hours, okay, maybe you're not gonna like it. But now I can listen to music, classical music for hours. When I read the comments, I love the stories. Okay, thank you. Nikki, see, okay, you grew up in a, on a farm. Okay, that's, <laughs> we had cats lined up so we could squirt the cow's milk directly in their mouth. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Hi, Dita. Hi, Maggie. Do you, how do you tune your canvas? I mean, I tune my canvas with acrylics. I have acrylic. Uh, let's say this color, brown, looks like this. You see, I have a, here a bucket like this, but it's with a lot of water. And then when I apply it, it's like this, kind of transparent. Somebody's telling me, runs of the story, remind me of a pseudo the elephant. You should watch him paint on YouTube. He's so careful with his trunk. Okay. What are, are those little brushes you are using for blending? This is a liner brushes, number zero. And when they are just, I'm, they have lost the shape because they are really pointing. When, yeah, you see, I have a lot of them. I use them for blending. This one, and I have, uh, I can use even this one, this is starting to afraid for smaller areas okay let's continue painting I distracted too with the, with the story and I have I see this eye so different from this one I need to go back to this city. The name is Arequipa. Mm, gonna find out. And then the volcano name is Misty. M I S T I. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> mm. 
terrain that he would be a little bit of worry. <clears throat> there was a huge difference because remember this guy and uh, I remember my uncle my uncle he was a painter and uh, my uncle he studied in the school of art okay but with him it was about just drinking beer having a good time watching some paintings speaking a little bit about art and drinking beers <laughs> and having a good time yeah. and with the other guy he was self-taught. He didn't study in the school of art, but but he has a lot of knowledge. Okay, it just the amount of knowledge that he had. It was just it was just too much for me. And he had a lot of books. I mean, you can tell. I mean, if if I have any doubt about art. I mean, knowing that my uncle, he, wa he had studied in the School of Art, and at that time, at one time, like for five years, he was teaching in the School of Art. Anyway, I mean, I always went to see this guy, because I knew he had all the answers. Yeah, but you know, I mean, it's like, a, for me, it, he was like a, I don't know, something like, I mean, it's like nobody knew about him. He had sold, sold some paintings to some people that loved art. But that's it, I mean, he didn't get any rec recognition or, or anything. You know, art is kind of, it's not a big thing here in my country. And, and the capital is, I mean, basically is where it happens, everything. In this city, in this town, in my town, uh, everything is just slower. But anyway, I mean, it was like, uh, I don't know, pretty sure, uh, I hope no, maybe, maybe he's dead by now. Because I'm speaking about something that happened maybe almost 20 years ago. For my fingernail, finger. Uh, no, no. For my this thing to cut the fingernails, I use one of those things to cut the uh, the hairs of brushes. For example, here.
<clears throat> Sorry, I'm just resting my, my throat. I, I was speaking too much, I think. Remember, this area is always a little bit reddish because we want to create some transparency here. If you go dark, Okay, that's gonna just keep the volume on the eyes. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to continue speaking about my memories. And uh, this guy, he, I mean, you know, this guy, uh, he used to say something like, I was about to be, uh, I mean, like your dad, something like that, because he was my, 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 my mom's, let's say, boyfriend. Yeah? Uh, I think. I don't know for how long. Uh, that's I think uh, that's the reason that why we were kind of close. And then my real dad, he just I don't know. He appears so I don't know <laughs> from where. Yeah. And then uh, remember, it's like. Uh, it's like I, I was, uh, let's say, a little, a little kid there in this small town, and uh, one day, uh, like, uh, like I said, no, one day my mom was, okay, let's see, to meet your dad, and I said, mm, yeah, you, I mean, you, it's kind of weird, yeah, you, yeah, and, uh, and I remember this guy, this guy, that I mean. The painter, eh? because he was always there, all the time, when I was a kid, when I was growing up, eh? and it's for me it was just one guy just there with my mom. Eh? Even when uh, I met my dad, my real dad, this guy, this guy was there at at home. I met house some days, some months, and then. I didn't see them for a year, and then after a year, he appears again, and he was kind of living with us for some month, and it, I mean, for me, it was it, okay. I mean, I was worried about other things, but when I started to study art, that's when I started to get really close to this to this guy. more color to the nose, to the shadow of the nose. Remember always a little bit of chroma here. That's gonna help to make the nose pop forward. Another story I remember when I was a kid <laughs> visiting my 
my uncle, the one who owns a lot of cows. It was one day uh, I was riding a mule and this mule just stopped in the middle of the ro road and it didn't move. It was so funny, I was just laughing too much because I, mean, I, just, I just saw that in movies, yeah? when a, a mule stops, it doesn't move that much. It doesn't move at all, and I was just there. And I, I remember, when I think I was in my 15, 15 years old, I think. And I stayed there with the mule, like for an hour. <laughs> and I started to get kind of scared because, I mean, it was close to my uncle's house, but uh, I mean, there's no, there was no houses around. I mean, no, nothing. It's what, just imagine just something that you see a house, like a really tiny house away. And that was my uncle's house. And I said, okay, that's the house. And was kind of, yeah. That's okay, I can go there walking. And then after an hour, this mule is just trying to walk. I go on top of the mule and then just go home. <laughs> I remember that so clear, so clear because I was pushing the, the mule and I was trying to kick the mule, uh, just not that much. That's enough just yes, to to make it uh, walk. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. And then when I get there, my uncle was on me. What took you so too much? And just the mule just stopped. And that's okay, the next time you, you use this. And he show, show me some kind of a knife. Yes, and he, you, do this, you do this. And you, uh, with the knife, the, this, this knife, to kind of, uh, uh, how do you say? I mean, I mean, it's not like you point the animal. You do something like that to his belly with the knife. And my uncle did that, and the mule whoop, started to run. <laughs> okay, I think okay, that kind of cruel. I mean, that's kind of cruel. I mean, that that's too much. I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna be able to do that. I didn't do it at the end. Eh? It was just maybe my last walk on the mule. It's been an hour and a half, and I gotta say that this portrait is kind of difficult. Okay, okay let's work on this, this shadow. I'm going to grade down the color to work on this area. And I'm going to warm up the color again to work on this area of this shadow, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use this gray down color for the brown.
Okay, let's add some black and white here. Not too much paint to make this shadow. I want to make this shadow kind of cool. Cool shadow. It could be greenish, it could be grayish. You know that it's gonna, uh, uh, I'm counting that this is going to get mixed with the skin color here. It's not going to stay that, that grayish. Okay, and now I can use this more colorful for here. Okay, orange, red, a tiny bit. I'm counting on the same to get this color to get mixed here. Okay, the idea about adding these colors here is to create the illusion that the nose is pumping forward. It's just a simple color theory that we use every time that we paint anything. I mean, we use more this color theory rules when we paint a landscape because obviously the distance is greater from something that is close to something that is away from us. But on a portrait it's kind of the same. I mean we have to use the same rules. Obviously the, the distance from the, the tip of the nose to the cheek is not that greater. But anyway we have to do something. At least that little tiny thing that we're gonna do is gonna add something to the illusion of death, perspective and all of that. Okay, I'm gonna read the comments. Hello Dennis, hello Terry. Hello Oh Smokey here in Britain, friends. <laughs> okay. Hello Mervat. Mm. Nikki saying we had seven horses and one mule. We didn't ride the mule much because he could take off and run fast. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, that's the funny about that. Okay, I never ride, I never ride a road, a horse. Okay, my my uncle, uh, he had some horses too. But I think I mean the, it's kind of kind of dangerous, yeah. Okay, gonna use more of this black and white. Okay, for the people that maybe love geography, <laughs> I'm gonna write down here the name of this city. And you're gonna see the volcano. Okay, somebody's asking me about uh, how to avoid to get muddy colors. Uh, muddy colors is just about mixing, okay? And I always think that when you paint, you mix on. You mix on the palette and you mix on the on the painting. As soon as soon as you realize, you assume, I mean, you take that for granted. Uh, I think that's gonna improve the way you you're gonna mix the colors. But it's just about that. For example, here, I want to make this more orangey. Okay, and then I can add pure orange. Why? Because I'm, I'm counting that. It's just like mixing this with this. What is the result? This color. Okay. I know that. I have done this so many times. I know that it, it, this is not going to stay a pure orange. It's going to get mixed there. Okay. 
And if you know you don't know that, maybe you you're gonna uh, think, okay, I'm gonna mix that like a, I'm gonna kill that orange because I want an orange, but I want this like this, and then you add this here. This one's gonna get mixed with this one. It's gonna stay brown. Okay, or maybe you're gonna make it darker. For example, this color here. Okay, I'm not expecting to see this color in this area. I'm expecting to mix this color here. Okay. That means that you need just more practice and experience about mixing colors. It's just something that that's gonna happen naturally. I mean, just just about practice. When it's about practice, it's just about repetition. There is no a magic trick, nothing. There is not a formula, nothing. The more we uh, we get better, we, the more we paint, we mix colors, we gain more experience. Okay, another thing that uh, my own experience when I started to paint, when I was a student, was my teacher, one of my teachers once told me, okay, your colors are just too muddy, too milky, too dark, Okay, he told me, you're not going to use white, uh, a little bit of white, but you're not going to use black to mix the colors, because you're using too much black. And it's not about not using a color, it's just about that I wasn't able to control the colors. Okay? And even uh, if I, don't use, I, do, I didn't use black at that time, I, I could end up with muddy colors, because it was just about, about experience. What else can I say about that? I mean, just kind of, kind of uh, frustrating when we are there at the moment and all we all the colors we mix are kind of muddy when we paint. Okay, uh, but I mean, it's not gonna be like that forever. Another thing that would be that blending. When we blend, we knock down all the colors. Okay, and after we blend, maybe we see our painting, it looks kind of, um, all the colors, all the reds, the orange we have, they kind of, uh, we have knocked down all of them, just by blending. That's why I keep saying don't over blend. This thing about blending is just uh, something that we go slowly, we put more paint, we blend, we put more paint, we blend. And one proof about that is just go back in this video. I don't know, maybe when I started, when I started to put the reddish areas on the face, and you see some red, 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 and now you don't see those red colors. I didn't knock down those colors. I mean, it was just I started to blend, and we, we blend, we softening, and we mixing here. And now I see a less intense colors.
Mm. I'm squinting down my eyes and I'm moving my eyes to the picture, to the painting. To the picture, to the painting. Sometimes I do that really fast. And then I stop, I paint again. I move my eyes really fast from left to right. Stop, I blend. Okay, nose is too long, you're missing the triangle. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that, uh, Dennis. Uh, okay. Get a color wheel. <laughs> yeah. Who are your favorite classic classical composers? Oh my. Okay, I, the, the one that I've been listening lately is Niccolo Paganini. Nikki, do your kids get to see your relatives in Arequipa? No, no, my kids, he didn't win, I mean, it's, uh, I used to, I used to go by car, it's like 20 hours from here. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing for for them, for my kids to to see some of my uncles, to know some of my uncles and to know about how to milk cows. <laughs> I've tried that a couple of times. It was just, I mean, kind of difficult. But it wasn't like uh, like I have seen so many times that you have to press a lot and to get the milk from the cow. No, it wasn't like that. It was just uh, there's a kind of a trick. Yeah? I say bye to the other. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, 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 you're right. Let's check out on that. Okay. Oh, Terry saying someone else in the group was asking a question of how to mix colors. Oh, I've been watching him for months. Okay. Doesn't look like a child yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> I still have time. Don't worry, Dennis. I'm gonna get there.
I'm gonna move this shadow more to the left. I'm pushing the shadow, okay, and this light more to the right. Uh, this is gonna make the nose a little bit thicker, uh, wider. But let's see if it doesn't work. I'm just going to retouch it again. Okay, it just I have to do it. I mean, I see something that uh, I mean I doubting about doing something sometimes, retouching some area or something like that. I just, uh, I have to, I can't stop too much time thinking if uh, I have to fix something or not. I just have to do it and sometimes, sometimes like this thing, making the, the nose here a little bit wider. Okay, I'm thinking right now that I gotta just nar narrow, narrow the nose a little bit. That means it's like making, uh, giving a step forward maybe those steps back, back. sometimes that happen, eh? yeah, there is no way just to, we just have to do it, I just have to do it and retouch and retouch. The thing about the likeness, uh, that's gonna be it like that all the time. We have to screen down, step back, retouch, and retouch. And right now I see I have to open this eye a little bit more, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I see that. Okay, okay, let me see. No, I think, okay, let's do it. Just a little bit, and I think I should move this brow a little bit down, a little bit lower. Okay. That's okay. Now, the wind of the nose here. You see that's different, I have to move this light a little bit up which is going to reduce the wind of the nose. Okay, that's okay, yeah that's better. And then I blend a little bit. Okay, what is the light here A little bit of light to the lower lip because I can see a reflected light here.
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna work a little bit more here. I'm gonna soften this. Maybe make the nose a little bit rounded. Soften here. here Okay, what about the lower lip? Need to make the lower lip a little bit bigger. Mixing black and red to work the shadow here. I'll read the comments. Uh, Work on the hair a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Mm, let me see, let me see. I love this kind of dark classical background. You know, is everything about this picture is just perfect. That one I'm copying just the same background. I don't want to change anything. And maybe, obviously, I want to change a little bit of uh, edges, yeah, just to like always to add some uh, to some interest to, let's say, the eyes of the nose, and make some areas to just to uh, recede. For example, I think I can keep a sharp edge here. Yeah, maybe, let's see.
What time is it? You know my dog is my clock. When she says it's time to eat, it's time to eat. It's like she's, she's saying, stop to paint, stop painting, let's eat. Okay, maybe my painting is just. Uh, I mean, definitely the color is not. It's not the same. My painting is a little bit colorful than. green but I'm gonna add green now I'm gonna make this a little bit dark okay that's good Right here, I was thinking about the reddish color in the face. Okay, I'm gonna add some gray, black and white. I'm gonna go a little. A little bit faster because I mean, what time is it? It's almost two hours, I think. Okay, what I'm doing right now is graying down this area here. Okay, I'm gonna keep the color here in the middle. You can gray down this with green or with gray, or you can try one and then try the other. That's okay. For example, I can add yellow here. I mean, you see, I have black and white, you add yellow, you have some kind of greenish color. Expression is almost there. Not so sure, not so sure. Mm. Let me see. Yeah, I think her eyes are really big and that's something that um, I'm making a mistake here on the on the eyes uh, the size of the eyes maybe uh, let's see if I can correct that
I'm going to 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 I'm gonna make this a little bit I can see I think it's here mm. a little bit of light That's better. That's better with the the mod. I mean, um, I love the, the the background on the picture. This dark with high contrast. But you know what? I prefer this. Yeah. Okay. 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 soft this again and I blend smooth out the surface and okay what is what is I have to think okay I'm stepping back something more I have to grade down the here I'm doing this because I just wanna go a little bit faster just uh, working on on the face okay now I'm gonna blend. I have to put a little bit of red on top of this. Now I have to work uh, mm, the eyes. Mm, I still see some problem on the eyes. That's better.
Okay, what I don't see is the age. Okay, I have to. I have to pay more attention to at the age. Looks older. Okay. She looks older, and let's see. Let's see what can I do. a little bit darker Blend, clean out the brush, I blend, clean out the brush again. everything and then I'm gonna check out again the likeness After blending, I'm going to use a mirror. I'm gonna check out more where is those little mistakes that I need to fix.
need to darken this yeah we need to darken this even more this corner here Just comparing, okay. I'm comparing where is where is the thing that I, I gotta fix to make her look younger. Mm. Okay, I think it's gonna be about the eyes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe. Let me see. Just analyzing here and comparing. Okay. Damn, I'm gonna make this area a little bit uh, around it. Yes, that's one thing. Okay, I need to darken the eyes. The white of the eyes is just it's too bright. Knock it down. Okay. Okay. Now another thing that's gonna be the expression on, on this eye. I need to do something here. Uh, maybe it's about adding more shadow here. Okay, I need more shadow here. Okay. More shadow here. <laughs> yeah, I need to oh what is what is Okay, low this brow. And make the no the, the sorry the face more rounded here.
maybe upper lip upper lip is less full okay I want to check out on that I'm gonna read the comments let's see the mistake is on the left lips okay I'm gonna check out on that hello Michael check the proportions again okay Okay, let me see, let me see. Okay, I think I can still make make the face a little bit rounded. Yeah, up here. Yeah, I'm getting close with the eyes, but I mean, I still need to read something. I mean, I'm looking about uh, shadows, light and shadows. For example, I see there is, it's a little bit darker here. thing that I see is here or oh, I have to let's say like a produce the the, uh, the the lower lip I think is here okay and add some Reflect the light here. Back. Okay, 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 okay.
uh, making this shadow to make this more rounded. Here, mm, I think I need to push this shadow to the left. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I'm feeling that I'm getting better. It's something about, about here, okay, because the eyes, I think, I think I got the eyes, but there's something more. It's the nose, mm, the mouth, obviously. Uh, on a, mm, okay, okay, no, I have to continue working just. So from that, make this a little bit darker. I think that's better. To darken here. Soften the edge here. some eyelashes here, just insinuate some I think I think it, I need bigger pupils. Yeah, bigger pupils.
What do you think? It's getting better? It's getting worse? After this, I deserve a beer. Okay. Oh, I deserve a coffee. I always keep forgetting my coffee application. No, it looks older yet. <laughs> anyway, I have to continue working. Let me see what time is it. Two hours and a half. That's okay, I still have time. I mean, I always work for three hours and sometimes, I mean, three hours and a half, no more than that. Uh, if I don't get the portrait in three hours and a half, I mean, that's unhappy anyway. Yeah, I, have, I have the feeling that I'm getting close, but there is something that I don't know what it is. Uh, okay, it could be about, uh, sometimes I feel that, that uh, I should go darker with the eyes here, like black. Just, the, the, just like the image, but I don't want to do that, I don't want to kill this. I mean, uh, maybe this is too reddish. Okay, oh, whoa, whoa. this is, yes, this is too reddish. I'm gonna knock down this a little bit. I mean, I don't wanna make it black. I keep, I wanna keep some of this red here. Maybe just uh, realize it right now that maybe it's too much. Oh, I was thinking about uh, this here. Mm -hmm. I think make the face more round. That helps. Okay, I, I need to add a little bit of light here. thing uh, is I need to knock down the, uh, the light here on the chain Gonna read the comments. Uh, okay. You said you will correct all your paintings. I said in January. Yeah, yeah. I said. Yeah, I remember. I said that. I said that, like two, th three times because I, I felt that time that I, I wanted to correct them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Not so sure. 
What do you do with your finished paintings, Johann Grauman? I have them here with me, I have a bunch of them, maybe more than 100 paintings, more portraits. They basically are uh, most of them are practices, exercises, and I paint basically then just for YouTube. If somebody wants to buy some of them, it's okay. I mean, I, I have sell, I have sold some of them. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I think it's it's time for a coffee for me. <laughs> That's my my coffee application. Coffee app. Okay, gonna read the comments. Uh, also, the left eye too big. Okay, gonna check out on that. Reducing and shadowing her chin help her appear. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Nikki. Okay. What? Oh. Okay, okay. That's okay. Thank you. Nose smaller, make younger, younger ages. Yes. Okay. Okay. The mistake is in the left lips. Okay. <laughs> then he's saying that, and the mule, <laughs> no move, no move, moving. I'm not correcting anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mervat is telling me the problem is, is with the mouth. It should be smaller and more soft edges. Okay. Especially the lower lip. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that. I think I'm getting closer. Yes, that's uh, that keep 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 me, that keep me hoping that I'm gonna get there. But still, I feel there there is something. Basically, usually it's about values. You know, a value, a round value in some area is gonna make something kind of uh, gonna add more volume to some area. Maybe that I don't need to, and that's gonna change that particular area is just like let's say that I add a highlight here in the middle something like that that's gonna change change the shape of the forehead and that affects the likeness for example this light here I think is too bright I'm gonna knock it down this light a little bit let's see and if I'm wrong I have to just put it back Make it lighter again. Okay. Another thing is this highlight in my painting, it goes like that. And I think this highlight just stop here and it doesn't go like, like that. Mm. What else? Uh, I have uh, okay. See, on a soft, some edges on the mouth. Okay, need another brush. There is something on the, the eyes that I think is going to help. 
make this darker. Okay, here it's a little bit dark. Mm -hmm. A little bit of light here. I have to move this more to the left and soften that. Mm -hmm. What time is it? 2 hours 40 minutes That's okay, I'm doing okay eh, I still have time Let me read the comments to see some opinions The left eye looks older than the right eye It's nowhere on the outside edge Okay, I'm gonna check the out I'm gonna check out on that. Dennis is asking for somebody to tell him to dry, to draw tonight, to draw tonight. <laughs> draw, Dennis, draw! <laughs>
Okay, I see that I need more light here. Okay, step back, let's step back, check out. The painting looks darker when I put my hand, you see, uh, it looks lighter. It's more like this when it's darker. But anyway, this camera thing. I think I should make her eyes bigger. Bigger eyes. That's what she needs. She has really bigger eyes. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the solution for the age. Let's see. If that doesn't work, eh, that's okay, I mean. Painting is always it's gonna be always fun, okay? Let, let me zoom this and Okay, that doesn't look round. Moving just little by little things. Uh, okay. I'm making grow the eyes with just almost nothing, but I mean, I, I need to see just this really slowly. Softening the edge. Now the other eye. The same. I'm gonna make this eye a little bit bigger. Okay, one thing, one thing, one thing. Here. Now the other eye.
Okay, let me see. Think. Okay, let's go to my eyes. Mm, that's better, that's better. But a little, I think even a little bit, a little bit bigger. Time is it? I still have 15 minutes. If I decide to paint more than three hours, mm. okay. I got some notifications here. Thank you, Nikki, for the coffee. Thank you, William Mac Mac Raid. For the coffee, for uh, I think I have read something said somebody says for the beer. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, I think. That's a little bit better. Bigger eyes, the expression is just it's better now. Yeah. But still I think I can there is something more. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's about the shadow. The shadow on on top of the eyes on the upper. Yeah. Okay. Maybe make make this side of the face more round. Oh, okay, see something. I have seen something now. I I have to. This shadow is just too dark in this area. Okay, that's better. Okay. Uh, I'm squinting down my eyes. I see a little bit of a shadow here in the middle. Okay. Maybe the mouth. Mm, oh no! I, maybe I move the mouth here a little bit up. Uh, yep, I think that helps. Now the nose. More light here. Okay, I think this light is coming up just too much. I mean, I have to lower that light a little bit or maybe ma make it curve mm, let me think see the upper lip okay I think I have to move this a little bit up yeah, maybe lower the brow Okay, okay, okay. I see something more here. More shadow. Here. Okay. 
okay, okay, okay. I think this is gonna help. I'm gonna put some hair on top of the ear. Okay. Have you seen the image? I mean, there is a link to the image. Okay, you see the image, the complete image is just beautiful. But that, uh, it's just beautiful, but I mean, I decided just to paint the face. One of these days I'm gonna make, I'm gonna paint a bigger painting. What is what happens? <laughs> okay, I, I have noticed that I'm missing uh, here or something but like this. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes me notice that I have to maybe make the face a little bit wider. I almost nothing, okay? That's better. I needed that. Yeah, I, I might need something more. How I didn't realize about it looks like it has a, a little bit of a curve here. I was so focused on on the uh, the eyes, you know, because I mean it's like obviously always the eyes are the more important part of a painting. Yeah? If you have the eyes, you have like eighty percent of the portrait. I'm speaking about the likeness. A little bit of a curve. Mm, just mm, that's okay. I think a little bit up. Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to sharpen. Maybe here, a little bit of shadow here, and I keep this reflected light sharp here just to make the the, the, the chin the chin pop forward okay uh, now I see the this reflected light go it goes down it goes up here mm, I think I'm just gonna keep it here because I know you know so many things on the picture just looks looks really good on a painting sometimes uh, we can ignore some little things just to with the idea of course of enhancing the uh, the volume 
uh, the illusion of depth and three-dimensionality all of that yeah uh, I mean we try that's what we try yeah I keep this sharp obviously I'm gonna keep this soft kind of lost yeah, to have a difference there okay what else okay the eyes obviously are just okay I'm gonna soften this a little bit I think I got expression. Oh, what is soften here? There are a lot of things that I can do, but I mean I have to choose what to what to do in order just to finish up the painting and this looks okay. Okay, I don't want color in the background. Obviously, the mood of this painting is different, the image is different. Everything is kind of mute, just gravitate around just one color. It's kind of a burn, burn, burn scene. <laughs> Just checking, comparing. Okay. Moving a little bit up this highlight. bit up here a little bit up here just a little bit okay a little bit of shadow here reflection there to make this more round
Need a little bit of red here. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Mm, to be honest, uh, I know. I mean, I can retouch more and more, but um, I can be here for a couple of hours. But 
I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's just uh, I'm happy with this. Okay, and I think this is enough for me. What do you think? Uh, but okay, the idea is gonna get obviously getting close to the likeness as much as possible. Mm-hmm. We always try that. If we get to 70%, 80%, I think it's just amazing. Let's see, the, uh, what time is it? Three hours? Oh, three hours and... Yeah, okay. I'm tired. I have to go to eat. And I promised to myself to make a live stream my Spanish channel in, in a couple of hours. I was planning to do it at 7 p.m. And I think I'm gonna broke. I'm, gonna, I'm going to break my, <laughs> my promise. No, no, I will do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up something simple, maybe a profile view. Then I'm gonna paint in my Spanish channel. Mm. Okay, I think. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I mean, what else I can do? I, usually, uh, I was trying to get precise, the eyes so precise, but to be honest, I end up just following a simple rule that is for making somebody look younger like a child paint bigger eyes and a rounded face okay anyway uh, that's what I need make the eyes a little bit bigger and the face rounded Anyway, and until and I, I feel that I still it's not the age, but there is some point that of course we need to rest in order to see more mistakes. Because right now I, I, I'm using the mirror, everything, I'm not able to see what is maybe the little thing that I need to to make it a little bit better. But I mean, I don't, it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm so happy with my painting. Okay, I'm so happy with what I have here right now. Yeah. I'm definitely more happy than you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's it, I think. One thing, sometimes I forget to, to uh, mistakes. The other thing, I just I just remember now that I I did like a like a mental like a note, and I said, okay, I'm gonna leave this area like this, and I go back and check out this again, and make it more perfect. And I forget to do that. I'm doing this right now. Anyway, that's okay, I think. Little things, little things. Little touches, 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 touches. Okay. 
Okay, that's it. Thank you so much, you all guys, for being here with me. And see you next time. Okay? Take care, you all. Bye. Oh, I know what I got wrong. They tilted. The face is tilted different. Do you see? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you saw a baby <laughs> image there. This was a uh, some painting that we are we are uh, doing with my patrons. In my Patreon account, uh, is it tilted? The tilted is was wrong. Uh, that's kind of impossible to fix. I mean, if, if something like that happens, because that's gonna happen to any one of us, keep always thinking about this. Okay, if the face go like this, you keep thinking that in the front view this is perpendicular. Don't do this. Always try to keep that. Okay, bye, take care.